Galatians 5, 1 says this. So stand fast, therefore, in the liberty by which Christ has made us free. Amen? There's a stand fast in the liberty by which Christ has made you free and do not be entangled again with the yoke of bondage. You know, Christ has died to set us free. And we have to stand fast in that freedom. We have to stand fast in the liberty of that freedom. Because here's the thing, circumstances, situation, life is gonna happen, and it's gonna try to steal or rob that promise from you. But we have to be people that decide that we're gonna stand fast with the promises of God. That we're gonna stand on them, and we're gonna stand on them, and we're gonna stand on them until we see them come to pass in our lives, amen? This is something to get excited about today because you have victory in Christ Jesus. Every situation, every challenge, anything that the devil could throw at you, you have victory because you have Jesus residing on the inside of you. And and here's the thing. You've got to be aggressive about your faith. You've got to be aggressive about the promises of God. I had somebody come up to me a couple weeks ago and they had this question. Actually, it wasn't a question. It was more of a statement to me. And they said, Pastor Kelly, you really believe that all the promises of God are for you? And I said, yeah, I do. (laughs) She goes, you don't just believe that it's for us, but you literally believe that everything that you read in the word is for you. And I see it in your life. And I said, I do. And she goes, that is a very aggressive kind of faith. And I said, you know what? We can all be that way. We can all look at the word of God and say, you know what? That's mine. I'm going to go ahead and take that. I'm going to go ahead and take that abundance. I'm going to go ahead and take that peace. I'm going to go ahead and take that overcoming life. Those things are mine. I'm going to choose that I'm going to stand on it until I see it come to pass in my life. Amen. Can I tell you? You're an aggressive person. (laughs) If you went out to your car today and someone is sitting in your car, about to drive away with your car, what would you do? You would be aggressive in that moment. You would say, you know what? I purchased that car. I make payments on that car. Get out of my car. That's mine. You know you have to be the exact same way with the word of God. Everything that you see in his word, they are for you. And when the enemy wants to come and say, you have lack, you have no hope, you have no peace, you have no joy, you don't have all these things, you have to look at that devil and say, get out of my way. My Bible says, my Bible says, I am the righteousness of God. I have the peace that passes all understanding. I do not live a life of fear, but a life of power, joy, love, peace, and overcoming life. Amen? These are the things that God has for you, and you have to stand fast on them. Amen? Oh, let's get excited today about what our God can do in our lives.